Hi everyone, so um, I'm going to show you today just a quick recap of our conversation about Kano Wood Golf Club, how you book a social tea time and how you book into a competition. This is on a desktop but it's exactly the same on an iPhone or an Android phone. So what I've done first, um, to book a normal social tea time you would log on to the kanowoodgolf.co.uk website which you can see up here in the bar and that brings you onto the Kano Wood Golf homepage. From here you click into members area and book a tea time. So you just hover on the members area and then you can go into book a tea time. Bear in mind this is a social tea time so if you just want to go in and book you click on book now. It takes you into from the portal from the Kano Wood portal into your ESP and this is where you would put your login in. As you can see mine's saved so once you've got into the system it will ask you either on a laptop or on a desktop or on a phone whether you want to save your details or I always click yes so then I would sign in so this is for a social tea time just to reiterate then it brings me on the page and I click on make a booking Get rid of my email. So you would select however many participants. So for example, if I was playing with three people, obviously it's not going to happen at the moment. But say for example, I was playing with Nikki Croft. I would just to type in Croft and up comes Nikki Croft. And if I was playing with um, Agnes Snowball. Oh, there's Agnes. Well, Agnes, you're not on there for some reason. It's probably something to look at. I don't know why. Um, let's say I'm going to play with my husband as well. So I'd click on Robinson. And I'll click on James. So it's as easy as that if you're playing with members. If you're playing with guests, you would literally just click this box and say it's a guest and a guest. And it will allow you to proceed. Then I would click submit because what that's going to do now is take me into the booking system. And then I would just choose which course I want to play. The castle or the manor. I would like to play, let's say, the manor. And you just click on a date. This allows you to book two weeks um, in advance. So you've got the 31st, which is today. The first looks as though it's blocked out, whether it's completely full. So say, for example, I want to book on the 6th. It will take me onto the manor for the 6th of January and it will show me what's available. So all the ones in red are taken. All the ones in green are available. So say, for example, I want to play 11.16. I would click on there. And then it would say, I'm booked on the manor for 18 holes. You can only select 18 holes at the moment, not nine. On Wednesday the 6th, doesn't mean you have to play 18, but obviously you just have to book in for 18 at 11.16, and I would pay on arrival £20, which are my two guests. If I was happy with that, I would click complete purchase, but I don't want to do that. So otherwise, I will be booking with people that I can't play with because I will be at work. Okay, so that's the ESP system. So that is for social tea times only going to get rid of that I'm going to go back to um, the home page so where I went into book uh, a tea time for socially I'm now going to have a look at what competitions we've got coming up so I am going to look at handicaps and competitions so I'm going to click on there takes me to a page that says handicapping let's go now this now takes me into the Intelligent Golf website. Now this is the new system. So there are there is a portal which is the Kano Wood website, which will then take you in either to the ESP system, which is the social tea time bookings, or it will take you into the Intelligent Golf, which is this one, kanowood.intelligentgolf.co.uk. As I said, you don't need to remember the websites. You just need to store the homepage for Kano Wood, and that's kind of the gateway to all the other portals that you need so this is the competition new competition site so on intelligent golf you'll see you've got latest results which we haven't got any at the moment you've got upcoming competitions which will list everybody's competitions if you click show all it will go on to everyone's i'll do that in a moment it shows you how to download the ig member app which you can put on your phone which i would suggest if you have a smartphone you do this this will provide you with all this information you can see on my laptop but at the touch of your phone so wherever you are it will allow you to input golf scores eventually we'll talk about that at a later date 
and it'll be able to see your handicap details. You can email other competitors, other members on there. So if you wanted to play socially, you could email somebody privately. I'll show you how that works as well. So it's um, it really is handy to have it stored on your phone if you have a smartphone. It allows you to check competition results. I said about messages. So if I wanted to go and message somebody else, I can do it via here. Everything you can do on here, you can do on the app practically shows me a scoring analysis and I can print off my handicap certificate it tells me the status of the courses again it tells me on my phone if the courses are open so if you are playing if you're booked to play in if you have a look at the app or have a look at the um, website it will tell you whether the manor or class course is open or closed whether the front line's shut whether the back line's shut everything and this is live so it's up to date Hall of Fame, upcoming competitions are on here. So these are my upcoming competitions. These are ones that I've entered via the app. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then it's just got some information about golf down the bottom. So what you'll need to do if you want to enter a competition, you can either, as I said, you can either do this on your phone or the desktop or a laptop. Is example, I want to see what's coming up. So I'm having a look at all the competitions so I'm signed up to a few as you'll see a lot of them are online sign up for Tuesdays and Saturdays you are able to sign up online so it removes the risk of COVID and going into the club if you don't have to go into the club because some people live far away so for example I will give you an idea of a Tuesday for example so I've decided that on Tuesday the 12th of January, I want to play in the New Year's resolution. Now I can either click on this hyperlink, there's several ways you can do this, or I can click onto the online sign up. As you can see, it shuts a week before. So you need to make sure that you've signed up more than a week before, uh, then the online sign up will close. So I'm gonna click on online sign up. It's telling me that it's an individual competition and it's a single Stapleford. I'll click continue. And on here now what I could do is I could choose my tea times. So these are all the tea times that the ladies have booked out on the club ESP system. So you don't need to worry about the other system if you're booking a competition as we've secured all those tea times. And I've decided that I would like to play at 9.08. So what will happen is as soon as I've selected this box, there'll be another select box come up here when somebody else goes on. So they'll say they can partner with me if they want to. As you can see, Ellie and Leslie, Nikki and Jazz have already signed up. So I will select 908. It will tell me I've been successfully entered into the competition and it will send me an email. So I will have an email in my inbox to say that I've entered. Not a problem. A couple of days later, I realise that my kids need to go to the doctors and I can't play. So I log into the system and I go into show all. Um, you can do it two ways, but this is the easiest way to do show all. And I'm going to go and it says that I'm entered on Tuesday, the 12th of January. But now I can't, I can't do it. So I click on where it says entered and it says withdraw. Click on withdraw. Am I happy to confirm that I'd like to withdraw from this competition? Because it's still open, the actual online has not closed. I can enter and withdraw when I want to. I click confirm. That's it. It's done. So when I go into that competition to have a look, I'll go in the same way. I'll have a look on the 12th of January. I can look at online sign up. I can view the rules of the competition. I can view the entrance and I can view the start sheet. So if I want to have a look at the start sheet, as you can see, it's instant. So I'm now gone and the four players that are already signed up are still signed up. And what we will do a week before is we'll send this information into the club. The reason for this is so that any unused tea times can be given back to the, the club. So um, it's only if we've got unused tea times, but we will, Carol will send this into the club and they will say, okay, so you've got nine, I think, of your 10 tea times. It does say you're playing off the 10th. Now, bearing in mind, you will only play off the 10th if the front nine is closed. If the front nine is open, you will be going off the first. Just to reiterate, the only reason you would go off the 10th is if the front nine is closed at the club. Otherwise, you would always, always go off the front nine of the manor. 
So that's how you enter competitions. My screen will look a little bit different to some of yours because I've got admin rights. Um, I'll show you what the other tabs do. So I've briefly just shown you how you do uh, competitions. You can narrow it down and look at ladies' news, men's news, lose newsletters. Um, what you can also see on the home page. Uh, oh no, I'll go take you back onto the Kano Wood home page in a moment. So you've got ladies' news, men's news, mixed news. Nothing on there at the moment because we haven't really done anything to be totally honest. Um, you've got competitions, so you can actually search um, upcoming competitions like this. Obviously, you can see all of them, knockouts, upcoming, matches, ongoing, ladies. When I click into ladies, it doesn't come up with anything at the moment. So if you go into upcoming, you will then see all of them the same way as I just did off the home page. It's just easier to do it on the home page. My golf is all about your golf, so your handicap record, analysis, messages, all the rest of it. So if I click into message, I'll just show you. So Joe and Nikki, we've been we've been testing it out. So as I was saying earlier, if you want to message someone, for example, if I wanted to message, I'll do Nikki again, just and I'll just put. So this is our conversation we had before. Um, just testing for the. And I would create. Now that will go to Nikki. It will ping up on her phone if she's got the app set up. Again, you can set up games, whatever you want, all via this. Sometimes the WhatsApp messages are getting a little bit crazy. So this is a way if you want to message someone directly, you can do it via this rather than WhatsApp. Entirely up to you. It's just another option. Diary. So this is another way of viewing the competitions. It tells you the date and what's coming up. Everything underlined means it's hyperlinked, which means you can click into it if you want to have a look further. Admin is something I have because I'm an administrator and then you can just log out. So I finished with IG now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you back to the Kano Wood Golf site, which I mentioned was how you book the ESP. And on here, I'm going to show you, if you click on home. So these are the different tabs. So club information, you've got opening hours, pro shop, venue hire. If you want to play, obviously the courses, drive range, that's a lot for visitors. Visitors tab, membership details about the membership, a members area. This is probably where I go into the most. So the ones I use the most are Booker Tea Time, which we've covered, Handicaps and Competitions, which we covered. The other one I'd suggest you have a look at if you want to is Notice Board. Now, if we go anywhere or there's any notifications that come out from the club, it all goes on here, latest news. So as you can see, anyone playing in the Winter League, it was cancelled. Information about the driving range, Boxing Day, Tier 4. So what will also go on here, you will see some of the ladies went to Pavilion Park to do the Christmas Open. Any comps, anything the ladies do that we know about, we will provide a write-up to Adam and he will pop it on the website. So if you ever want to have a look, Leslie's and Tina's name is up in lights there, then let us know. Uh, it's just a good way of keeping up to date with what's going on at the club, whether it's ladies, juniors, seniors, anything really. It's uh, something I would suggest you just maybe just have a look around and play at. Contact us, that's a way just to get in touch with the club. Hopefully that covers everything. Feel free to pause, rewind, listen again, ask me any questions. But hopefully that covers the main parts, which is book a tea time, which is booking a social tea time directly with the club. Handicaps and competitions, which is being able to look at your handicaps and enter the competitions on the new Intelligent Golf System. Again, it will take you straight there. This is kind of your gateway, your doorway to the other portals. And then you notice board. Feel free to have a play. It's really pretty simple once you get going. And if you've got any questions, then give us a shout.